to this week's EPB Community Spotlight, Shining on Linda's Gifts, and we are joined on the phone by Andrea. Welcome, Andrea. Can you tell us how long your organization has been active in Chattanooga? Hi, thank you. Yes, ma'am. We've been active for the last four years. We started in October of 2018, and we became a real nonprofit as of March of 2021. Oh, okay. Well, what would you say is your organization's goals? Uh, one of our main goals is just to make sure that children realize that they have a village within us. We want to make sure that all children feel safe and that their mental health is intact. So we make sure that we open up to them and we get their ideas as well. Well, what would you say is your organization's purpose? Our main purpose, like I said, is mental health. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that all these children are feeling the love of their community. It does take a village to help raise children, so we help their families in order to help them. We make sure that we are here when they need us to know that they're not alone. Do you have an event that you are wanting people to know about? As of right now, our main event that's coming up will happen in April. It is a Easter egg hunt that we're having. It's one of our hugest uh, events that we actually have. We give out prizes, money. Um, of course, you have the candy and we have pizza and lemonade. So we just want the whole community to come out and just enjoy themselves and make sure that, you know, you bring out all the children. It doesn't matter the age, you know. We, I, My nephew is 13 and he still comes out. So <laughs> Don't discriminate. I love it. Well, probably mm -hmm. the most important question I can ask you is how can people help support Linda's Gifts? Well, our main thing is come, bring the children. Um, we ask for help a lot of times because our events are getting bigger and most of the things that we do are coming straight out of our own pocket. So and we ask that if you can donate, whether that be monetary or just the supplies that we need to put on the events that we do. Um, on top of that, we're still looking for grants and sponsorships from corporations to go ahead and get it funded so that we could start taking higher trips and things like that with the kids, things that normal grants won't respond. Well, what's the best way that people can get in touch with you? Uh, I am on Facebook. I have mine. It's Andrea LaShawn Davis Clark. My business partner here is Deacon Bryant. We also have Linda's Gifts. I have a website. It is Linda's Gifts. That is L I N. D A S G I F T dot org. Um, we have Gift Lifey for those donations that want to come through. That way, we are tax deductible. We are 501 C3. Um, we're everywhere. My telephone number is 423 902 3805. Okay. Well, the last question I have for you, Andrea, is there anything else that you would like people to know about your organization? We do a lot more than just giving back to the children in ways of activity. We do a lot that people don't know. Um, we feed the homeless. We're out here, you know, people reach out to us and say, hey, I'm in need. We're, we've been paying people's rent, their utilities and things of that sort, and we don't pay the person, so we know that these people are in need. We actually call EPV. We call their landlord. And so when we're asking for help from the community saying, hey, can, can you help us with donations, we're really needing those items, and these people are desperately in need. So we just ask that when we're asking for help from the community that they pitch in. Well, thank you so much for what you are doing in the community. And Andrea, thank you for being a part of this EPB nonprofit spotlight. Thank you. And thank you to Media and EPB for this opportunity.